<laughs> Cult of the Lambs, a game of culting and violence, but also very cute, chibi little animals, and oh look, flowers, and meat, and violence, and sacrificial stuff. Woohoo, we love that, so much fun. Now I have always wanted to play Cult of the Lamb. I s have always seen stuff on it, and it looked interesting. I didn't really know what it was about other than cult and lamb, like the title suggests. The first time I've ever heard of it though, that was probably four years ago. I did not have the money, nor did I know how expensive it was. And so a couple weeks ago, I was like, I'll buy it. Let's see how much it is. It was only $24. And I was like, wow, that's not a whole lot of money. I could spend that and not be mad at myself. And then I go to download it and it was like, look, DLCs for an extra 20. And I was like, that's kind of a good deal for all of, all of the DLCs. So I downloaded it. Then the bad thing happened. First off, my sister bought it on her account and not my account. So I do not own it, she does. Am I mad about it? A little bit, a lot of bit, but it's fine. And then the another problem came in. The DLCs are not extra gameplay. They are just skins. I did not do my research and that is on me. Do I care about extra skins? No, not at all. So I'm a bit salty about it, but you know what? We're going with it now. We're using the skins. We're just gonna live with the consequences of not doing our research beforehand. So I started playing with my sister, which is where we're gonna draw these characters from got me and I decided to combine the lamb because that's the character I play and my moth Sona together and I ended up with this sort of thing uh, I, don't, I don't know and I mostly wear this heart fleece thing and it's pretty and it's blue and cute and so I put that on as well and I love the hammer in this game I don't normally like big slow weapons but for some reason I just like it in this game the blunder bus is absolute garbage. I hate it so much it makes me so mad when I'm stuck with it. But yeah, that's pretty much my design. And on to the next one. So I first started with Bo. Bo is my beautiful, lovely rabbit wife. She was- so when we get new characters, new NPCs, we take turns naming them and designing them, me and my sister. And this was my sister's character. And when she was first brought to life, I was like, wow, that's a dumb name and big dumb boring rabbit and so I didn't care about her but she turned out to be a very hard-working little rabbit and very committed to the cult and so I was like okay you're you're loyal you you're gonna be with me the whole time and so Bo pretty much just became my character and over time I think she died one time and I brought her back to life I don't really remember how she died and then I was like, I'm going to marry you once I'm able to do that. Because apparently you have to like do these little Ten Commandment thing and to be able to unlock that ability. So I was waiting and then, you know, we're going through and then one of the big bad bosses turned her evil and I had to kill her and then resurrect her again. But that's fine. I was falling in love, okay? It was love at, not at first sight. I did not love her when I first met her, but it was love over a slow time period, which is how romance should work. I mean, you, unless it's not how it works with you, you, you know, you could fall in love however you like. It's completely up to you. I'm not judging you. I made her a pretty strong woman because we love big, strong, independent women. But then I married her and it was the most happiest day of my life because I love this, this rabbit woman and she is my first spouse and I would do anything for my beautiful wife. So next is Klepto. He is a chicken. Why is his name Klepto? Who knows? It was the first word who came to brain, which is usually how the naming system goes. It's just, you know, whatever random made up word or existing word that's out of the ordinary comes to brain, that's their name. Klepto, I think, was like my second NPC I received. I don't I don't remember, but he's been here for a long time. At some point, he was like, yes, kill me. I've been here for so long, I would like to be sacrificed in your name. And I was like, dang it, I wanted to marry you too. And so I killed him. And then five seconds later, I brought him back to life. That was not a good idea. Something happened in those five seconds that he glimpsed at death where he went insane. He was wandering around, shaking and tweaking out for like weeks and I did not know how to fix it. I Googled it and everything. And it was just like, give him time to heal. And I was like, okay. Weeks went by, he was not healing. He was still having a very hard time. One day I was like, you know what? Let's make a healing bay. That's a good idea. Turns out that's how you fix it. You put him in the healing bay, you give him some crystals, 
boom, sanity is returned. He's all back to normal. So I got his sanity back, and then we got married, probably same day. It was wonderful. Bo was there. We're all married. We're all, all three of us, in love. Perfect, perfect little family. Clipto recently has decided he likes to fight people and cause a lot of problems. Just fine, do your thing. But I do fear one day he's gonna get in a fight and lose and then be dead and then I have to revive him and he might go insane again. Which, big sad. But if he wants to be fighty and defend my name, you go. Woo. All right, the final part of my glorious family is Rundolph. Weird name, I know. It's like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer but Rundoff because it's goofy and silly. So unique, so cool. So here is the story of Rundoff's creation. Here I was, I built a tent where people can fall in love and have a child. And I was like, I want a child. And so I tried to have a child with my wife. Turns out you can't have children with your followers. I can't have kids. It hurt my feelings so bad. And so Klepto and Bo had a child and born was Rundoff. He is my pride and joy, my son, my Simba. He is destined to take over the cult when I pass away at some point in the near future. Probably not the near future, I'm pretty old. But it turns out, I'm a bad father. I know I'm a failure. I can't raise my kids properly. I neglected him. I didn't know that. I gave him affection when he was born and then I dipped for like five days to go on a quest and I didn't come back. And when I came back, he was wandering around as a little baby and I talked to him and he's like, I feel neglected. And I was like, I'm sorry, kid. I didn't mean to. And so, once he grew up, we were distant. He didn't want to talk to me. He didn't even look at me. I brought him into the confession booth, had him talk. Every single time without fail, he had the lamb head image in his little speech bubble with a cross over it. He hated me, and that's completely my fault. I was a neglectful dad. I went and got milk and came back 20 years too late. That's my fault. But we grew past that. We healed together. I fixed our relationship and I mended what I had broken. And so, on the faithful day that we fixed it, he became my disciple. I was so proud that day. He became a man. We became a family again. And then that stupid centipede. Huh. Let me tell you about the stupid centipede. So here's this ugly centipede man. I don't remember the disgrace's name. Bob. Bob the idiot. And Bob and Rundoff get in a fight, okay? They're fighting. I didn't realize they were fighting, okay? I was not paying attention. And then I'm going to revive someone else, and there I see my son. I searched through the cult logs, and I saw that they were fighting. I killed him. I killed dumb Bob. He is dead, and he is not coming back. I feel no regret. Unfortunately, when I brought Rundoff back to life, he also was insane, but it's okay. I had the crystal method, so he was he was fine after a little second. So yeah, that's my family. There are a lot more characters I want to do, like my sister and her beautiful spider spouse. And then I'll probably end up doing like significant background characters like Snot. I love Cult of the Lambs, currently my favorite obsession, and I haven't stopped playing it since I got it. So yeah, let me know if you guys actually like this video and are actually interested to hear more of my Cult of the Lamb lore. Anyway, bye!